Now to major developments in a Baltimore murder investigation that we have been following for years. Keith Davis Jr. walked out of prison after seven years behind bars. This follows the state's attorney's decision to drop the murder charges against him. WJT investigator Mike Helgen live at the prosecutor's office downtown breaking down this high profile case. Mike. And Denise Davis's family is celebrating his release while the family of murder victim Kevin Jones is devastated by this decision. State's attorney Bates says he had his office thoroughly review every aspect of the prosecution. He felt there was no way he could ethically move forward. We begin tonight with Davis's wife, who has been fighting for years for his release. This is the moment Keith Davis Jr.'s wife had been waiting for for years. She learned her husband would be free. We did it. Amen. And here they are after his release. It follows years of lobbying. Davis standing trial four times for the same murder, one of the highest profile prosecutions in Baltimore in years. I mean, Defense uh, attorney Deb Levy represents Davis. He was very grateful to come home into the arms of family today. What was that moment like? I mean, it was the most surreal sort of um joyous sort of like this very just guttural joy like you you it, it was overwhelming the case dates to june 2015. davis was arrested for the murder of kevin jones a security guard at pimlico shot 11 times in the racetrack's parking lot new state's attorney ivan bates dismissed all charges and blamed his predecessor marilyn mosby for what he called missteps and pursuing a conviction at all costs I had never in my entire career seen the chief state's attorney have a presumption of prosecutorial vindictiveness. That was game over, was done. Still, Jones' grandmother told me she's outraged that Bates dropped the charges and a fifth trial set to begin in May. I was screaming and just yelling, no, how could they do this? And then again, how could they do this with no notice? And it seems they want to put everything on Marilyn Mosby. Bates says he's asked the police commissioner to put fresh eyes on the murder. Jones' grandmother doubts that will make a difference. I don't think anything else is going to be done. Like I said, it's been over five years. It's just so sad. It is really so sad. She told me she does not blame Marilyn Mosby for what happened. Mosby has had no public comment on these latest developments. Reporting live from the state's attorney's office, Mike Helgren, WJZ.